Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this video I'll be discussing Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm covering introduction, algorithm steps and algorithm examples. So let's get started. We start off with some interesting development history. As the name implies, this key exchange algorithm was proposed by Diffie and Hellman and presented in their paper New Directions in Cryptography in 1976. In this paper, they proposed a key exchange scheme, but they did not propose a public key crypto system. Their algorithm was inspired by Markle's puzzles developed by Ralph Markle in 1974. Interestingly, it was the notion that Markle, Hellman and Diffie were the first people to develop a public key cryptography until 1997, when the British government declassified work done in the early 1970s by the three mathematicians Clifford Cox, Malcolm Williamson and Jem Ellis described public key cryptography for the first time. Next, what solution it offers? This algorithm was developed to resolve the key exchange issue in cryptography. It allows two parties that have no prior knowledge of each other to jointly establish a shared secret key over an insecure channel. In this algorithm, both parties generate a secret key without ever requiring to send the complete secret across the communication channel. Why it is secure? The security of this algorithm is based upon the discrete logarithm problem, DLP. That means computing an exponent s in the equation m equals g to the power s mod p is very difficult. So let's elaborate this. If m equals g to the power s mod p, then for the given m, g and p, there is no known efficient algorithm which can find the value of s. And that is a secret exponent in Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. Applications Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm was used in many protocols, algorithms and security systems such as Algamal algorithm, TLS protocol, SSH protocol, STS protocol, IPsec protocol, etc. We'll explain this algorithm in four steps. The prerequisite for Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm is a basic understanding of modular arithmetic, which I've explained in the modular arithmetic video series. In step one, both sender and receiver mutually decide upon two public numbers to start the computation. The first number is a public prime number P and the second number is a generator or base number G where G should be a primitive root modulo of P. I've already explained primitive root modulo in another video. These two numbers are used to derive the Diffie-Hellman formula G mod P for computing a public prime number letter. In practice, the public prime number or modulus p is a very large prime number while the base g is relatively small to simplify the calculation. In step 2, we choose a secret number. So, sender chooses a secret number s and receiver chooses a secret number r. Both must be smaller than public prime number p. Obviously, these secret numbers are not revealed to each other. In step 3, we calculate a public number. Sender calculates a public number, here uppercase s, using their secret number in g mod p formula and sends it to receiver. Similarly, receiver calculates a public number, here uppercase r, using their secret number in g mod p formula and sends it to sender. In step 4, both sender and receiver calculate the secret key separately at their end. Sender calculates the secret key on the basis of receiver's public number R and receiver calculates the secret key on the basis of public number S and the same shared secret key is calculated by both sender and receiver without communicating it as it requires in symmetric key encryption. Let's look at an example to understand Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. In step 1, both sender and receiver mutually decide upon two public numbers. Here, the first public prime number p equals 11 
and the second generator or base number g equals 6, where g should be a primitive root modulo of p. In practice, public prime number should be a very large number. However, for the sake of simplicity, we will use this smaller value here, but it would be insecure if it is used with the small numbers in practice. In step 2, sender chooses a secret number s equals to 2 and receiver chooses a secret number r equals 3. Both must be smaller than public prime number p which is 11 here. So that is true. In step 3, sender calculates a public number using the secret number in g mod p formula and sends it to receiver. Similarly, receiver calculates a public number using secret number in g mod p formula and sends it to sender. In step 4, both sender and receiver calculate the secret key separately at their end. Sender calculates the secret key on the basis of receiver's public number r and receiver calculates the secret key on the basis of sender's public number s. The same secret key here 5 is calculated by both sender and receiver without communicating it. And this is how we calculate a same shared secret key using Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. This concludes my presentation and thanks for watching my video.